Today we're going to have a demonstration on uh, the Joseph Gamma. Uh, this is able to cut down to 22 and a half degrees, 45 degrees on both heads. Sequential cut, trim cut. So I'll go through a little bit of demonstration as far as the homing of the machine and show a couple cuts. First of all, you turn the machine on. Comes up e-stop condition. Go ahead and enable the machine. The heads start to do their homing routine first. After the heads are calibrated, then it'll do the x-axis, and then we'll be ready to start. This machine has an extra option that's installed on it. It has vertical clamping. Normally it only comes with horizontal clamping, but this has the extra feature on it. Okay, and we're ready to go. So I'll repeat this. We have three modes of operation. Automatic mode that cuts between the heads, loading one piece at a time. We have a trim cut mode that only does 90 degree cuts with the left head using the right head as a feeder head. And then it, it can cut down to half inch parts all the way up to whatever length up to 196 inches. And then in sequential cut, it will cut using the right head as a feeder, left head doing both angles, moving both left to right. Will, uh, once it's started, the operator has no operation to do. The machine is self-contained and will keep running until it needs more parts put in it. So we'll go through automatic. I set it up as far as what's needed here. You have to put the height of the profile in, the cut length. And the quantity here. Go ahead and press start. The x-axis moves to the proper position and then calibrates the head to what you just set to. Load the material. Check your clamping. Make sure there's no interference on your clamping. Set your clamp, turn on the saws, press two hand controls, Now I'm going to run it on a trim cut with the right head feeding the left head doing 90 degree cuts. I have to dial in the bar length and then the loading position is half of what the total bar length is. 
and then how many pieces I want to cut, and what size do I want to cut. And set the piece count, and press start, go to the load position. set the scrap yourself and then from then on it's totally automatic. 